I just realized I forgot my powder. Hold on. <laughs> we all like, what the world is this girl doing? I left my powder in there. I had to go get it. All right, so we're gonna do. Hey, Rosa. Good morning. Who jumped on here with me? Hi, Gina. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Angela. Or I said hi to Rosa. Quinn. Good morning. I love that name, Quinn. What a freaking cool name. Hey, Christina. Y'all jumping on here fast. Hey, Mel. Hey, Kim. Your daughter is stunning, Kim. I seen it's her birthday. Tell her I said happy birthday. I am beyond frustrated. Hey, Cindy. Let me say hi to these people. Hey, Candy. Candy. Hey, Susan. Hey, Jennifer. Oh, there's a bunch of y'all. Good morning, Kat. Hey, Holly. Hey, Donna live hey dominique okay so let's talk about this okay so it's not been any kind of secret that i have been on a low carb diet now for i don't know like a couple months and one i'm in my 40s two i am having problems with ovarian cysts so, I'm basically having to take birth control pills in order to suppress the pain from those cysts because they, for whatever reason, they just keep on forming. Hey, Yvonne, we're talking about my problems this morning. So, my level of frustration is this. My medical mind is telling me that the reason that I cannot lose weight because I've been on this diet hardcore for two months and I have lost two freaking pounds so the last two days i decided just to carb out like because sometimes if you carb out you'll jump start your system you know on these diets so i carved out and it did not work for me like now i'm up two pounds i had lost a total of four pounds now i'm down to two pounds and this is just not working for me and i really want to come off these birth control pills because i feel like that has a big effect on why i'm having the problems that i'm having I've been doing low carb and I am so frustrated so but I'm like so fearful of stopping the medicine because the cysts are so bad that y'all you just don't know the pain I can't even tell you the pain that comes along with those cysts and like I ain't even gonna lie when I say like nothing touches it nothing touches it um not even hydrocodone. It does not make it better. So I am beyond freaking annoyed right now with this whole scenario. The only thing I've not been doing is exercising. So I'm not sure if it's the fact that I'm just to that age where I'm going to have to exercise. Uh, you can't, you don't want to do a hysterectomy, not for ovarian cysts. There's no doctor that would do that. So hysterectomies are warranted in cases of endometriosis especially um you know sometimes they'll do them for huge fibroids um it just depends but anyways i'm just i'm just annoyed right now i am beyond annoyed i'm just so like frustrated yes they are horrible like and nothing Oh, endometriosis. Christina, oh, girl, I feel bad for you. Oh, Lord, yes. I mean, literally, they're, these cysts are the kind of things, and I don't have polycystic ovarian syndrome, so that can screw with your weight, too. But I've been researching, and, like, I ain't even kidding. Like, you know, polycystic ovarian syndrome is a whole different thing. Like, they put you on things to help you get pregnant. Oh, my gosh, Holly. If you need it, though... If you, if you need it, a hysterectomy, and you're done having kids or you don't want kids, I will get it done. My thyroid's okay. It's been checked multiple, multiple times. So I think I'm to the point now that I'm hot. Let me take this off. So I think I'm just going to go see my holistic guru here in town and see 
if there's something that she can do and maybe go ahead and start my workouts this week. I've had a busy start to my week. I've got a lot of appointments this week, so it's been a little bit crazy. But the level of frustration with like when you're eating right, and I feel really good when I eat right. I ain't knocking it. But like sometimes you just want some pasta, you know what I mean? So I was like, all right, well maybe I just need to jumpstart my system. So you switch to the Nuva Ring. It's decreased with the pain and slowed the growth of additional ones. I'm always fearful because I'm big. Oh, yes. Hysterectomy at 28. Lord, girls, that's so young to be having hysterectomies. That makes me very, very sad. But I am just, I don't know. I mean, I've had everything checked. There's, to my knowledge, um, and I've had everything checked multiple times. There's no problems with my labs. So I just don't know if it's that now I'm in my 40s and I'm going to have to work out in order to lose weight or if it's that the cysts are prevent. I mean, I'm stuck, literally stuck. And I'm so frustrated with the way I look. Like, I'm just frustrated. I know, and I've done a modified keto. Like, I've actually done a keto slash low carb. They're very similar, actually when you get down to it, but it's just not working for me like it has in the past. But I will say, the last time I did low carb, I was exercising so much, it wasn't even funny. So that might be the missing link. It's just so hard to get started and get going when you're trying to start exercising. I know, Madonna, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Walking ain't gonna do it for me. I'm a runner, I like to run. Okay, let me see what everybody's saying. Y'all are talking like crazy. Mom has hypothyroid and had a hysterectomy. Yeah, it's 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 no joke. Thyroid issues will jack you up. I think it's the pill too, Christina. And if I could get off of it, like I'm so close to just stopping it and just seeing like what happens. But y'all, seriously, the pain from ovarian cyst is no freaking joke. Like I can't function like that. I have done the detox from heavy metals. I even had all the feelings taken out of my teeth. I have no, and they're all white now. I even got rid of my feelings. Did that, Ashlyn. I know. I'm wondering if there may be an underlying thyroid problem that I'm not, I'm not honing in on. I'm going to have to, uh, I got to figure something out because something is not right. There's no reason why you should be eating right and not losing weight consistently. Now, my water intake is also up and down. I will say that. I'm um, notorious for one day I'll do real good and drink all my water, and then the next day I might drink one bottle of water. So that, I know, is not helping the situation at all. But sweet Lord God Almighty, just throw me a freaking bone because I can't deal anymore. But here's the deal. This is the other thing, and I tried to call my friend who's an OBGYN. She's actually one of my very best friends. I started these um, birth control pills a year ago to suppress the cysts and to help with the pain. And it has helped with the pain, but I went through a phase there where I was having migraines every day. So I thought that maybe the migraines were coming from the birth control pills. Of course, my, my gynecologist laughed at me and said I was being ridiculous. So we lowered the dose on the pill. Well, then when we lowered the dose um, on the pill, what I have noticed is that every single day at about the same time, usually mid-afternoon to early evening, I start cramping. I start cramping like something, like, like, and I'm thinking, oh God, this is it. Like, there, I've bursted a cyst or something. So I start cramping. And then I'm like, well, it'll go on into the evening and then I go to sleep and I wake up the next day and I'm fine. So I called this week and I asked them to increase my dose back up to the old dose to see if that would help with the cramping. But I'm only like two days into that pack. So I don't know. Like, I'm almost to the point where I'm ready to say, screw it. I'm just going to like stop the freaking pill. Yes, like, okay, let me catch up to what y'all are saying. I'm like talking, talking, talking. Hey, Janet. So, yes. Yeah, and it's supposed to suppress the cyst, but that's the thing, Christina. I'm wondering if they're still there. Try intermittent fasting. I have tried that a little bit. Okay. Uh Donna, you're awesome. Thank you. Maybe I need to do that, Ashley. I might try that and try the exercise. Water. Yeah, the water, I'm not getting enough. 
Good for you, Ashley. That's fantastic. I'm okay, Tammy. I'm just frustrated. I'll let you know, Kim. I'm still working at it. It's just like the struggle. I may need to get another ultrasound, and I may ask for it to see. Oh, it's the ridiculous. I don't know if I need to try a different pill or not. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to mention who my OBGYN is. It is a male. I have loved him. He's the smartest person in the world. But sometimes I feel like because I'm a clinician and I bring up issues, like he's like, oh, no, you're completely being ridiculous. And then he makes me feel stupid. And then I'm like, okay. Madonna, it's been about a year. Hey, Tab. So, yeah, I've been just a little bit frustrated with this. I need to get this makeup done. I've got a dental appointment. That's my other issue. Look, can you all see it? You see that? I was eating a nut the other night, and it put a crack in the enamel of my tooth. So, now I look like the guy off Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> so, I got to go get this crack looked at at my tooth this morning. So, Lord have mercy. The struggle is real. Hey, Brenda, good morning. Hey, Cindy. I know. I just, something's just not right. I can't figure it out. But between me and my medical knowledge and my girlfriend, Christy, who is freaking amazing. I tried to call her a couple weeks ago, and the hooker didn't call me back. So I've got to get up with her and get her advice. Because she was the one who suggested the birth control pills was actually a great idea um, but now I'm stuck with this weight. Like, I'm at my tippy-top weight, y'all. I've never weighed this much. I just don't like the way I feel. I will say I have lost some inches. My boobs have definitely shrunk. Um, so it's not like scale victories. But at the same time, I just still, like, the back fat is still there. Can we just put that out there? The back fat is still there. The back fat is driving me crazy. It's got to go. It's got to go. It's nature's little joke. If I don't get rid of the back fat and I don't lose the weight, you all mark my words, I'm freaking getting lipo. I'm going to save my money and I'm freaking getting lipo because I'm not doing it. I'm not doing back fat. No. I'm not doing it. I ain't doing it. Isn't that what the girl said? I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. No to the back fat. Who's Robin Dillard? Where's she at? No, you can't remove cysts because they're just, they're fluid filled. They're, they're not like polycystic ovarian. So the difference between polycystic ovarian cysts and these cysts are that they will just form on top of the ovary. So when you have a period and you release a follicle, basically it can leave behind a, like a sac on the surface of the ovary where you've ovulated and it fills up with fluid and then when they burst or rupture it's kind of like a guy getting flicked in the nuts do you know what i'm saying like that's what it feels like but it's like way worse and it lasts like way longer it's the equivalent of it's like somebody's doing this to your ovary just flipping it oh, the worst there's your word picture for the day flipping the ovary oh my god i can't deal you had one who told you were just aging Oh my gosh. I'm, I don't know. Mine's not big enough to be removed. I hate the back fat and the side rolls too. Your sister's going to get cool sculpting. I've heard good and bad things about the cool sculpting. I think if I was going to do it, I would just get flat out lipo. The laser lipo? So what does that involve? An abdominal mammectomy. Oh. I need to have something done because I am... Like, seriously, I'm going to have to either get a second opinion or something here because Mama is not happy. Like, I might be being ridiculous, but better to be ridiculous than to be in pain, have to take birth control pills, and deal with back fat. I'm not going there. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not. Let's do some brows. So, yeah. So, me and my small medical brain... Guess what I've been doing this morning? So I've been Googling, right? So they did arthroscopic surgery. Get them to laser them out. I don't know. Like, it, they need to go away, though. It's just, it's, it's, I, I'm serious. Like, I think they're still there. And I think they're jacking with my hormones. And then I'm taking these pills to try to make, to suppress them. But I really don't think the pills are working that well. But I do know one thing. 
I am not a fan. Now, if you like it, good for you. And if you've had no problems, good for you. But I am not a fan of an IUD. No freaking way am I doing an IUD. I do not want a foreign body implanted into my vajayjay. No. No. I don't want anything that stays in there permanently. I don't want no Norplant. I don't want no Implanon. Getting those things out are a pain, too. Well, that's good she doesn't have PCOS because I will say that dealing with PCOS is way worse than... No, it's not PCOS. Um, dealing with PCOS is way worse than dealing with ovarian cysts. Ovarian cyst is like the baby sister to PCOS. You can't get rid of PCOS. Once you got it, you got to live with it forever. Cysts can actually go away. No depo either. I'm not doing it. It's all the same thing. Actually, Depo is way worse about making you pack on weight than actually the birth control pill is, in my opinion. Yeah, right, Holly? Uh, no. Mm -mm. No. That's a big no for me. Hey, Mallory. So, she had an ablation. Hmm. I'm going to have to read up on other procedures that can be done for ovarian cysts because, you know, and we had trouble getting pregnant, too, and I keep reading that, um... You know, ovarian cysts don't affect infertility. I think that is hogwash. I'm a firm believer that um, they're going to find out in 20 years that ovarian cysts are probably a result of eating processed food. And as a result, they're going to affect fertility issues. I mean, having a cyst on your ovary, how can that not affect your fertility? That's just freaking dumb. I'm just talking like a lay person right now, not like a medical person, but that's just my thoughts. Just like I said the other day, like with calcium, they tell you that at age 22, I think it is, somewhere thereabouts, that you quit laying down new bone. So I think in the future, they're going to tell you that in order to maintain strong bones, you're going to have to start taking calcium and vitamin D at a much, like, you know, younger rate, like not postmenopausal, but just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ready for the change of life. Who knows? Who freaking knows? I've heard both ways. So it's, uh, it's, it's not been fun. I will say that. And had I known that at a younger age, I might have done something more about it. But I've been told that ovarian cysts do not affect fertility. Oh, God, Stacy, no kidding. Nobody wants that. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> you got in on this huge conversation that we're having about ovarian cysts and pelvic pain. And no, if so, you had ablation that for ovarian cysts, you had it. I'm going to have to look this up and read deeper. I need to go to the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic is my go to when I want to know like accurate information. Weight training is good for bone density. This is true. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the, uh, the only thing bad about calcium and taking it at a young age is that calcium is so freaking constipating. Oh, my God. Like, you can't poop for, like, ever. It just makes you, like, not able to go. It's terrible. I got to get this face done. Can somebody tell me what time it is? So, yeah, I guess you all, like, I may be being petty because there's worse things going on in the world, right? You know, so I can't lose 10 pounds. Big freaking deal, right? But I just want to be, like, I don't want to have to take this medicine for this pain. Like, I want to, like, cut the, I want to get rid of this problem. I want to cut it off at the head. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be dealing with freaking ovarian cysts. And back fat. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Meantime, I'm living with a husband who's a type 1 diabetic. And he's been doing low carb. And he's down like 20 pounds, right? Don't you freaking hate men? So freaking annoying. I guess cool sculpting could be a, a way to get rid of the back fat. But I've heard good and bad things about the cool sculpting. 1018. Okay, I'm good. Oh, calcium does make your heart burn way worse. You feel like you're just in a loop of bloat? I know. 
Last week, Lord, y'all, I have never been depressed a day in my life, but Saturday, like, thank God the kids came over because it took everything I could do in me to get off the couch. Like, I was just... I don't know. Like, I was sad and pissed off at the same time. Does that make... Yes! What are you saying, Brie? You're never going to look like Lloyd Saki. <laughs> yes, I do. I got, the, I got the, the thing. Oh, Cindy, where are you at? You must be in another time zone. Oh, that's fantastic. We'll say a prayer for her. We are keeping it real. South Bend Inn. I got you. See, okay. See, maybe. Okay. Now, Megan, we're getting to the next question. Because, you know, CBD oil has been so taboo. There's not a lot of studies out there. It's, it's legal right now. It's not been taken off the market. But I'm wondering if the CBD oil would help my health pain and get rid of the inflammation in my body and help me possibly lose weight. Oh, Megan, you may have just hit the nail on the head, girl. Like, I may have. Oh, snap. But, hey, hey, oh, you're in Cali, Cindy. I didn't know that. You know way too much about, I know. Right? I'm sorry that you know too much about female issues. Hey, Renee. I know, Andrea. I'm with you, girl. Like, Oh, I know. Now you got... So my holistic guru, we actually had this conversation about CBD oil the last time I was over there, which, you know, she told me legally she's not allowed to advise anybody anything about it. But I went to the internet and did some research myself, and I'm highly intrigued. So maybe CBD oil is the answer. Maybe it'll take care of my... And the other thing that I wondered, too... Y'all, this is more common than you think, but, like, for people that can't lose weight... If you're not doing a detox, a good detox, and I've done a couple, like I, I try to detox like every two months or so, but if you've not done a good detox and then on top of that, you can be eat up with yeast. You know, yeast can be a major issue as well that can keep you from losing weight and it can make your joints ache and it's pretty easy to get rid of yeast, but you've got to have a, a health nut guru to help you. There's like a regimen you have to take. Megan, send me a message. Just say, hey, uh, remind me to tell you about CBD oil. Yes, please message me. I know they do have it without THC in it. This is true. Um, Cindy, you're going to have to go find a holistic guru to get it for you. Um, my lady here is on Mount Cross Road. She is um, at Nature's Essentials, and she can probably ship it to you. The cleanse. Oh, the cleanse. It's just a cleanse. Like you take something to kind of flush your system out. You know, it's, um, there's a three day cleanse that Kathy has in her, um, in her, um, I'll get it out in a minute. In her store, it's like $9.99. It's super cheap. And it works beautifully. Like it will, uh, it'll ping on a drug test. Well, they're not drug testing me. So whatever. I can show them I'm using CBD oil. I'm not afraid. Oh, Dutera does? I know, my guru is awesome. Okay, so today I got to get it on down the road. So we're going to use palette number one and we'll do some kind of fun lip. Y'all know this is my go-to palette. It is no, um, no secret that this is my favorite palette. So I'm using palette number one and we're going to put brassy on today. And we're going to lay it on thick. Yeah, some of it you eat. They have the oil. They have the tablets. Um, my thing was is I wanted to know if it smelled bad. Because, you know, marijuana smells like a skunk's butt. It stinks. So, um, I, ain't, I ain't eating or drinking or taking some oil that smells like no skunk's butt. I ain't doing it. No. Copia. My, my stepdaughter um, is, um, is a doTERRA rep. Oh, Cindy, yes. The CBD oil will help tremendously with tremors. It's great with kids who have seizures, too, who, um, you know, that they uh, can't get them under control. Kids that, yeah, you can do a cleanse with diverticulitis. It actually would be good for it. Hey, Kay, good morning. I know, right? That's okay. It's all right that you're late. No big deal. Let's get this these eyeballs done. 
Brandy, honey, you need to message me. I'm still got you on my radar. Like, I want to come and see you and sit on that new back porch you just created. And we can read and drink wine and catch up on the last, I don't know, 20 years or so that we haven't seen each other hardly. Can we just do that, please? I need some girl time for reals. You would not recommend a cleanse? I would, with diverticula, it depends on what you're using, really. It shouldn't put you into a flare. It's not like you're using like a harsh, harsh cleanse. It's all natural. All right, let's do, oh, I dropped my, I got this new, look how cute these new bags are in that we got too, while we're talking about all this. How cute is the new bag? Isn't that cute? I love it. Blink, blink. Cute new kudos bag. Comes with the kudos right now. Alright, let's do chipper, which is the middle color, which is like my very, very favorite color. Let's let's get that in there. Let's do that. Let's get it in the crease. I need to take this paper off this because I can't see in this mirror. Good morning, Cindy. What's the website? You just have to look up CBD oil. Oh, um, Kathy's is Nature's Essentials. She is on, um, she is on uh, Facebook. Nature's Essentials on Mount Cross Road. I'll have to put her link up here when we're done. All right. I know it does look like her lashes. Tamara, CBD oil is pretty much will take care of almost any type of anti inflammatory property in the body. So, like, even people who have Lyme's disease, you know, there's not a lot of um, information and treatment out there for Lyme's disease. It's great for Lyme's. I think it's great for fibromyalgia. Um, these types of, you know, inflammatory properties that there's really no answer for. So... It's, uh, it's great for joint pain, people that have joint pain, a lot of inflammation from that. Lots and lots of good stuff with it, so yeah. <laughs> Sandy, stop. <laughs> oh my God, Brandy, if you travel down here, we can lay by the pool. Maybe you'll get some inspiration laying by the pool. Heck yeah. That would be fantastic -o. You can soak it up, girl. Alright. Let's put a little bit of smoke on this outer edge. I'm going to use forthright. Let's smoke it up. Smoke out the outer edge. So yeah. So now that I've bared my soul to everybody and my frustrations, I'll feel better. My day will go much smoother. I don't know if it'll help occipital neuralgia or not. I think a lot of things are still experimental, but like if you're having problems and you don't have any many other options, like honestly, what have you got to lose? The only thing about CBD oil, guys, is that it's not cheap. So don't get sticker shocked when you go there. I mean, you're looking at spending probably between 70 and 100 bucks, depending on the dosage you get. I think it comes in like a 5 and a 10 milligram dosage. But yeah. You are going to pull out some cash for that. It is not, not cheap. So be prepared mentally for that. But, you know, if you've taken something and you're not able to function on a daily basis and it makes you feel better, oh my God, like why not, right? IBS, I don't know. I, I need to get by there and talk to Kathy today. I really do. Y'all have inspired me to go by there. I'll ask some questions. I don't know how much she's going to tell me. Um, but, um, I don't know if it'll help. IBS, what I found with IBS, you got to keep a food journal. And with IBS, if you can pinpoint down the foods that are causing you to have flares of IBS, eliminate them. And if you eat certain foods and they only affect you at certain times, you have to pair a non-soluble fiber with a soluble fiber. So, meaning, if you're going to eat broccoli, like for me... Greens used to tear me up, y'all. I could not eat greens. Like a salad and I'd be running to the bathroom in a hot minute. So what I had to do is like eat it with rice or a baked potato or something like that. 
which is a soluble fiber. So it helps keep it in your gut a little bit longer. So it helps you break it down and digest it. So yes, that's what I would do with the irritable bowel. That's how I managed to get mine under control. All right, let's do a navy blue liner since I've got on a navy blue shirt today. Where is it? That's not navy. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna do a navy liner today. Yeah, it would, Mallory. It probably would. It is expensive. It, and if you get a, a pure form, like a really good form. Okay, so we're going to lock down this blue liner on this eye. Let's hope I'm not at the dentist a long time. i got a lot to do today. On a good note, I'm getting my hair done today. Yay me. Hair day is always a good day, right? Hey, Deb, how are you? Oh, I know. I love the green and the teal liners. You got to get it from a... Uh, you got to get it from a holistic guru, Kim. I can hook you up with Kathy. I don't know if she mails or not. Mails it. I would get up with somebody I trust. That way you know you're getting something pure. I wouldn't just buy it off any random place on the internet. Good morning. Oh, why are you scared to venture away from black? Get a navy liner or get this teal. I love the teal. This one is like my absolute favorite. If you have green or blue eyes, the teal is wonderful. All right, let's put on some highlight on this face. We must highlight this face. You did a hair update last week? Good for you, girl. Hair is life. Hair and makeup are life, right? I love this shimmer. Bring it. Give me all the shimmer, hunty. Bring me all the shimmer. I need it. Ah. All right, we need some mascara. Need some mascara. Let's put on some mascara. Good morning. Don't you dare call me Mary Kay, Roger. That's a dirty word. I don't know, Christina, how I feel about that either. I would proceed with caution. I just, I don't trust anybody here but Kathy. But Kathy has been doing holistic medicine for 25 plus years. Yeah, Westside Pharmacy has it, and I would totally trust Devonna. Yes. Do green or the teal, the presumptuous, Mallory. I have green eyes, and I love using the green. Morning, Rhonda. Okay. So. I'm hot. Sweating. Lawed. All right, let's get this mascara on. Try to wrap up this look so I can go get my... Dumb and dumber tooth fixed. Lol, that's what you get. And see, I'm trying to eat healthy, so I was sitting and eating a little bag of pistachios. And I couldn't get one open the other night, and I stuck it in my tooth, and it cracked. Lol, Jesus, it cracked. You're in Northern Virginia? Where at in Northern Virginia? Like Richmond? Hampton. She may ship. I don't know. I would have to ask. I'll find out today. Westside Pharmacy is in Oceana. It's in West Virginia. I have a lot of people from West Virginia who... Uh, a lot of your pharmacies, um, your progressive pharmacies will sometimes carry CBD oil. You can ask your pharmacist if they carry it. I mean, a CVS is not going to carry it, but like your privately owned pharmacies a lot of times will carry it. Yeah. My nose is running this morning. All right, let's get these eyeballs done. I'm trying to keep the mascara out of my blonde locks. That's why I'm always pulling my hair back. Because I can't stand the black strips in my head looking like Corella DeVille all day. 
I know. I'm very paranoid about teeth. If anybody knows me, I went through a real struggle with my teeth growing up. So to get my teeth straight and looking like they do um, took a long time. And um, by the time I got my teeth straight, like one of my biggest fears is like tripping and falling and busting out my teeth. I don't want to bust out my teeth. Yeah, you're way too far, Christina. Yeah, that's that's a long way. Just get in touch with Kathy online. I'll get you all the information. I'll put her website up so you guys can call her and I'll, I'll get the number. And you can inquire about CBD all you want. Thea, what's Byron's take on CBD oil? Byron's an ER physician. You have to give us some feedback. We've been talking about it this morning. All right. I know. I already did that as a baby. I was climbing, y'all. I was like two. I was climbing up on a chair, of course, to get to the cookie jar or whatever I was looking for. I'm sure it was for sweets because God knows I do love some sweets. And uh, the chair fell out from under me and I busted my tooth. It was one of these teeth. I don't remember. One of the front two. Busted the sucker out. Made the gum so tough. The tooth wouldn't come in. I didn't have a tooth until I was like in third grade. My cousins made fun of me. Tooth came in crooked because they had to slip my gum. Then I had to have braces. It was a long drawn out period. When I say it was like a long drawn out period, like I ain't lying. It was a long drawn out period. CBD oil, it's made from hemp. You can get it with marijuana in it or without. But the CBD oil, they're finding that a lot of people are using it for, you know, kids that have seizures and inflama inflammatory properties. and But it's not really regulated by the FDA yet, per se. So, But a lot of people are seeing benefits from it. So who knows? What kind of lipstick are we going to do today, y'all? I've got on a white sweater and a navy shirt. And Rebel's losing his mind back here. Okay, we've got the lashes done. Um, hey, Chastity. All right, let's do... Uh, what are we going to do with this lip? Do we want to go nude or do we want to go like pink, bold? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let me, let me go ahead and exfoliate the lips while we're talking. Nude lip, pink lip... Thanks, girl. I love palette number one. It's my boo-boo. Red. <laughs> you all love seeing me in the red, don't you? Deep pink, Kay says. The deepest pink I have is like, I have like loaded, and then I have like, okay, let's, let's, let's do, oh, maybe ambitious? Maybe ambitious. It's like a berry. Can we do ambitious, maybe? Ambitious. Y'all know I love upper class. I wear that a lot. I've got conceited. That's a pink. It's a little more cornflower pink. Mm. Top notch is orange. Swagger is like purple. Ambitious? Okay, we'll do ambitious. Why not? Alright, let me get this off my lips. My lips have been dry lately. Is anybody else a lip licker? I'm like a mega lip licker. I lick my lips a lot. Way too much. Like, they get chafed really easy because I lick too much. All right, let me clean up under my eyes. Let's put this powder under there. This is Scarlet. I love using a little Scarlet under the eyes. Do you see the difference? Oh, it makes it look so pretty. Scarlet. And then we dust off the excess. So I just kind of patted it on. All right. La, la, la. Okay. Berry. Okay. 
So we're going to do, I'm going to dust over the lips, get them good and dry. Ambitious. Okay. When, oh, <laughs> this wonky liner. I'm going to use Pompous as a base. So it's going to make your lipstick stay on if you use a liner and feel your lips in completely. Now you can wear our lip liners as lipstick, but I like the creaminess of a lipstick. But filling in with a liner gives it something to hold on to. And if you fill in completely, you won't end up with ring around the mouth. Nobody wants ring around the mouth. All right. Let's do this. Ambitious. Why did I listen to y'all? I'm going to the dentist. It's going to be all over my face, and they're going to take it off in 2.5 seconds. Should have worn a lip stain today. Woo! Honey. Let's give it a little something something. I know, it is going to be all over my face. Y'all know it is. Y'all done cursed me. I'm going to look like a hot mess in an hour. This is Elegant Splurge Cream. I'm just throwing a little bit in the center to give me a little ombre. Little ombre look there. Also gives you a little bit of shimmer. A little shimmer. I know they do hate lipstick. I guess I better pack it and take it with me. I got my bag. It's my little bag. I'll take my stuff in. Okay. Let's do a recap on this look because we've been talking for a long time about girly parts and cramps and all kinds of nonsense this morning. But y'all know we're keeping it real up in here. We're always keeping it real. Where the heck did my setting spray go? For real? Where is my setting spray? Oh, it's back here. I ain't taking it off before I go. They can wipe it off. They can wipe that lipstick off. They're going to smear it all over my face. They always do. They always do. Okay. Let's talk about this look. I know. I should take a shine wipe in my little my little bag with me. I may do that. That's a good idea. Okay. So let's talk about this look. So I used moisturizer. I used setting spray as a primer. We used taffeta foundation today. I finally have got enough sun on my face that I've graduated to my summer color. If you're still in between shades, get up with your unique presenter and they can help you get your summer color matched up, okay? It's usually one to two shades darker. We did brows with a medium brow palette. We contoured over here with Malibu bronzer. I used serene blush on my cheeks. Under my eyes, I used... Um, Mineral Touch Concealer in Organza, and then we used on the eyes um, eye primer because we want this gorgeous eye makeup look to stay all day long. Um, I used palette number one, so we used Brassy all over in the crease. I used Chipper, and on the outer corner, I used Forthright. Then we jumped over today, and I went out of my comfort zone, and I used a precarious liner, so you get that gorgeous navy blue look, which is going to kind of pull out my shirt a little bit. I used Gentle Press Shadow as a highlight on my cheeks, on my nose, above my lip. And then we used Epic Mascara, 3D Mascara. And then we finished off the lip with a pompous liner and um, Ambitious Lipstick, which I've not worn in a while. And I'm trying to figure out why I have not because it's gorgeous. And then we used a little bit of Elegant on the center of the lip, press, uh, Elegant uh, Splurge Cream Shadow, to create a little bit of an ombre lip there, and just to give us a little bit of extra glow. And bam, you're done. I set under my eyes with a Scarlet uh, Pressed Powder to kind of give me that finished look under my eyes, so if you have any fallout, all that will get taken care of. And that is it. You wish they would bring Hopeful Blush back. Hopeful? There was a hopeful... Are you talking about this one? Supported? We didn't have a hopeful blush, boo. We have a hopeful splurge cream shadow. This. I'm not sure. 
message me. I'm not sure what you're asking. All right, so that's the look of the day. I've got to get to the dentist. I'm supposed to be there at 11. Luckily, they only live five minutes. Yes, yeah, supported. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. I wish they would too. That is my favorite. So let me get to the dentist. Don't forget, you can get your bundle still yet. This cute, cute bag. And guess what? The um, little tabs on this bag, if you already have the collection bag, you can put it on this and use it as a cute little purse. So um, the little chain hooks onto that. It looks fabulous. You get uh, this month, you get the kudos, you get a palette, you get this brush, which just came in. I don't know if you can see it. It's a liner, eyeliner brush. You get your choice of lip stain, and you get this cute bag. For 69 bucks, actually that is a really cheap kudo. So if you're in the mood for a new palette, this would be a great time to get it because the palettes alone run 49 bucks retail. All right, girls, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me vent. I feel better and lighter already. Now I can go out and conquer the world today. And I will let you all know what Kathy says when I get up with her today. I'm going to message her as soon as I get off here, and we'll see what she says about the CBD oil. If she ships, I'll find out prices, and then we'll go from there. Okay? All right, you guys have a great day. See y'all tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. Bye.